What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. We're back with another J Electronica related video. Over the weekend, it was All Star Weekend. Um, they were in New Orleans, and J Electronica and Jay Z both made guest appearances. Um, I'm blanking on what event it was. I'll include a link to the video so you can check it out. But it's just a short little clip of them having fun on the microphone. And at the very end, Jay Z tells J Electronica, let's go drop the album. Now, as always, you take every single thing with J Electronica with a grain of salt, like half a grain of salt. Because we've heard that so many times. Uh, last year, last summer, J Electronica said he was going to drop Act 2 in 40 days. You know, he was teasing, uh, get your title subscriptions and all of that. It's coming in the next 40 days. And it just never showed up. And we never got an explanation why. So as always, you take everything, uh, you know, at face value. Is it going to happen? It's possible. I, I do feel like the album exists and it will happen at some point, but honestly, at this point, we have to just look at it like until it's actually there in our iTunes, in our speakers, we really can't sit here and, you know, get it too excited. Nonetheless, I wanted to discuss a question that I've thought of for a long time now, and that's can J Electronica live up to the hype? There is unbelievable levels of hype for J Electronica. And I think it's more uh, a quality aspect, not really a commercial. I have no idea what J Electronica could sell because I don't know, uh, you know, the, the power behind his selling. Like, I don't know if a lot of people are rushing to buy this album. I just know that there are going to be a lot of ears on this album when it finally does drop. And I think J Electronica has earned that amount of hype. He is someone who doesn't put out music often, but he does so with a purpose. Case in point, the We Made It Freestyle of 2014. The purpose was Jay-Z responding to Drake, but make no mistake, the Jay Alec came at or came correct on that record. So Jay Electronica is really never one to just toss out music. There's always some kind of purpose or meaning behind it, whether we know it or not. I look at it like I want to say that, yes, he can live up to the hype because Jay Electronica, despite the frustration that we all have for him not putting out music more often, not putting out this album in so much, uh, for so long, he hasn't put out this album. I think that he's still a special artist and I think he'll, he'll be able to carry himself on act two. He'll be able to deliver something that the people that are truly invested in J Electronica are going to be proud of. They're going to be happy with the product that they get. On the other hand, I can see why people would think that J Elect can't really meet the expectations. I mean, how really do you meet the expectations? I think J Electronica is kind of in the same boat as like an Andre 3000. No matter what we get from Andre 3000 as a solo album, if we ever get a solo album, I don't know if it'll ever be able to match what people's expectations are. I think expectations, they really do ruin things, but we can't help it because we're human. And so with J Electronica, I do think that he'll be able to deliver a great album. I wonder what the album sounds like now. Because I don't, I don't look at like J Electronica as someone who like stopped working on the album years ago and he's just waiting. No. He's had a track list. It had like Jay-Z, Kanye, Diddy, uh, you know, a lot of big names attached to it. And so I wonder if he wanted to keep a lot of those songs and, you know, just work on refining it or where the album is at this stage in the game. Regardless, J Electronica is someone who will tell you that he's right on schedule. This man works in mysterious ways and we will never understand it until it's actually happened. So we might not understand why he waited so long to drop Act 2. And hell, there might actually be no particular reason. Maybe there's honestly no reason other than maybe like self-doubt or, you know, it, it can't be labeled problems because Jay-Z has always said that he's been enthusiastic to put it out. He's been telling Jay Electronica to do it. So it's not like there's a label issue. And I don't think it's like a, there can't be like a sample clearance issue because it's been years. So it has to be eternally from Jay Electronica. And so I don't understand why he hasn't put out the album yet. And like I said, we may never understand why. 
He'll probably do an interview at some point and talk about it. Like when that when Act Two actually does show up, he'll probably go on like the Breakfast Club and you know do like the media circuit and and really talk about why he didn't put out the album for so long. I just hope that when Jay Electronica finally does drop this album, that he doesn't allow another six or seven years to go by without putting out Act Three, which he's also talked about. It's kind of crazy to talk about your next album when you haven't even put out this first album yet but nonetheless Jay Electronica has a plan for himself um and I do believe that act two is going to show up and if you ask me I think it'll live up to the hype now I want to know what you think do you think that Jay Electronica's act two will live up to the hype when it finally drops why or why not Talk to me in the comment section below, then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share the video, follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain, and as always, thank you for your time, I appreciate you for watching, and until next time, peace.